Hey everybody, Bright Boo here. Today we're gonna look at the best way to play as Duke Nukem and Doom. I believe you're all familiar with the Duke It Out in Doom mod for the Edge Source port. This is probably the most popular way of playing as Duke Nukem and Doom. Now I don't have anything particularly positive to say about the Source port, but the mod is great. This mod has great aesthetics, great sounds, and not only the sounds of, like, Duke's weapons and Duke's one-liners, but also the sounds, the uh, Vanilla Doom sounds have to, seem to have been revamped. It has a good variety of Duke one-liners, and the gameplay is lots of fun. I can confidently say now that this is probably one of the best ways to play as Duke and Doom. Next we have Duke Nukem 3D Weapons and Monsters for the GZ Doom Source port. Now I can say right off the bat, the one thing that this mod has over uh, Duke It Out and Doom is that it runs on GZ Doom. The aesthetics and pretty much everything else is much more faithful to Duke Nukem 3D. One of the greatest things about this mod, aside from the fact that it runs on GZ Doom, is the variety in weapons. There are so many different weapons in this mod, likely weapons that you probably would have never even thought of. However, this mod is far from being my favorite due to the following reasons. Bugs, more bugs, weird sound choices, and weird blood. But what irks me the most is that there are really no settings in this mod. But with all that said, the mod is fun, and overall the mod's pretty good. Next we have DN3 Doom. DN3 Doom is very similar to Duke 3D Weapons and Monsters. I guess I can say what Duke 3D Weapons and Monsters has wrong, DN3 Doom has right. DN3 Doom actually has a menu where you can change mod-specific settings. Unfortunately, DN3 Doom doesn't have as much weapons variety as the aforementioned mod. The sound quality in DN3 Doom is also pretty much standard, and that's especially true for the Duke Nukem one-liners. Overall, I'd say this is a good mod. I'd say I even like it better than Duke 3D Weapons and Monsters. At last, we have an old one. It's called Samsara. In case you haven't heard of this mod, Samsara is a mod which allows you to choose between eight different characters, which you can play as through the original Doom campaigns, or megawads or maps, whatever. All eight characters are protagonists from classic FPS games, and one of those eight characters is, you guessed it, Duke Nukem. You probably also guessed that Duke Nukem is my favorite character out of the eight. So, playing as Duke in Samsara, it gives you the most Duke Nukem 3D feel. Duke has all his weapons that he had in Duke 3D, except the Shrinker and the Expander. And for a lot of people, that might be a huge bummer, but for me it isn't. I really don't care. You don't have to take my word for it, but playing as Duke in Doom with the Samsara mod is actually a lot of fun. Unfortunately, sound quality is not very good in this mod and I'm mostly referring to Duke's one-liners. But it, it's not such a bad thing, because this mod doesn't enhance any of Doom's sounds, so it kind of fits, it kind of blends together. It's not a big deal. No matter which character you play as, all the pickups look the same, except for the weapons. Make a long story short, I find playing as Duke in Doom through Samsara lots of fun. But it all comes down to this question. Which is the best way to play as Duke Nukem in Doom? And that is... Duke it out in Doom for the Edge Source port. Yes, I know the Edge Source port kind of sucks, but it's such a good mod. But then again, this is just my opinion. Which way do you think is the best way to play as Duke Nukem in Doom? Share your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.